Dixon provides housing, counseling, and support to women and children who are victims of violence. We provide a safe place where women and children can heal and receive non-judgmental support. We also work towards eliminating violence against women and children by educating the community and increasing awareness about the impact of violence. The biggest and longest lasting impact of our work is the result of simply being there when a woman needs somebody to listen to her or to support their empowerment or to be there while they regain their self-esteem. The organization has gone through a lot of transformation to get to where it is today. We offer six different programs right now in addition to our community events and activities we do to raise awareness about the impact of violence against women and children. When we were founded in 1973, we were called Lifeline Society. Uh, we were formed by women who wanted to respond to the needs of the women and children in their community. From then to now, we have updated many things, from our name and logo to the scope of services we provide. But what has remained constant is the passion and commitment of the staff who have worked here throughout the years, of the volunteers who have donated their skills and time, and of every member of the community and funder who has supported our work. Our vision remains aligned with the work the organization has always done. Our goal is to see women and children free from violence. To me, Dixon House means the opportunity to make a difference in the life of a woman or a child. It's truly a calling for me. I love the work I do, honestly. And it's very rewarding in so many ways. I think that everyone deserves to live a life free of violence and Dixon provides a second chance to a lot of women and children so that they can rebuild their lives without that threat of violence. Dixon Society is a place where women and children come to heal and to find hope and it's a place where they receive support and shelter and find peace. It means an organization that not only provides a safe place for women and children, but also provides an opportunity for families to break a cycle of abuse and lead safe and healthy lives. It means children will be safe and will realize their full potential and can change society so that one day women will not be abused because of their gender. After 20 years, I am truly amazed how support education and a safe, nurturing environment can impact the families we serve. I really feel honored and blessed to be a part of this work and to have the opportunity to witness their journey. I get to see firsthand the work we do and the results with the women, and it's completely awesome to see how the results are in the end when they leave. When they come into the house in the beginning, they're usually abused um, controlled and very vulnerable. By the time they leave with our support and resources and information and education, that they leave the house like that they have now developed into and blossomed into a very strong, empowered woman. Connect the women with resources and let her know that help is available. First off, believe her, tell her it's not her fault and let her know that there are services such as Dixon Society available to help. Transition houses such as Dixon House or helplines that support survivors of violence are available to women. Well, first of all, I'd go over and create a safety plan with her to make sure that she's safe at all times. That is the most vulnerable time in her life, and that's when it's scariest for her. And next of all, I would actually tell her about our Stopping the Violence counseling program. Sometimes. The women just need support and counselling to be able to make the move and to get the courage to leave. Women return to us after many years to share their accomplishments and share their success stories. An ex-client and her child came to visit us and I really saw the impact of what we do. This woman and child were victims of abuse, but they were also impoverished because the abuser would not let them eat. This child had never had a birthday party and she was nine years old. We gave her her first birthday party when she stayed with us and she 
open every gift so deliberately, just, oh, just feeling this excitement and wanting to keep the memories. Everybody cried. So once a year they come and let us know where they're at. There I saw a confident woman and a child that was happy getting straight A in math. Unbelievable. She's doing so well. And mom, she informed me today that she has written a novel about her experience. Ready to start her life in the future with no violence, and no abuse. And that's our wish. That's what we work towards on a daily basis. It's an amazing story and it's a true story. And you can see how rewarding our jobs are. I am truly amazed by the staff and their endless passion and I am so proud to be a part of this unique journey and vision and knowing I had a small part in this success. I think just the thank you to every member of the community that has supported our work and has made um, our existence possible for the past 40 years. I hope that um, a day will come when our work will not be necessary anymore.